In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install the Xerox Device Agent app. So uh, first, you're going to need a link. Um, there's a custom one uh, for each company. So if you don't have the link, uh, please reach out to uh, Elizabeth or Matthew, and we can uh, generate a link for you on uh, how to get that. Um, so once you get the link, you're going to just paste that into your browser or select it. It does take a, a few minutes to uh, download the uh, link uh, or the ex executable file. Um, in this case, it went pretty fast, but if it uh, takes a few minutes, just uh, be patient. Sometimes it uh, takes a little bit. So once you uh, get the file downloaded, you're just going to select that uh, in your browser, and it's going to uh, open up the installer. You're going to select your language and then hit install. Once you get to this screen, um, you're going to hit I accept the terms, hit next, use built-in database, hit next, select where you want it to be installed. Most cases it will be default so you don't have to mess with it, just hit uh, next, then hit install. Please note if anywhere during this process it asks you for a username or password, um, that means uh, downloading applications is locked down by your IT provider or your IT admin. So uh, please reach out to them to get permissions on installing the Xerox device agent onto your computer. Once it's done downloading, hit finish. Once you hit finish, it's going to open up the program, and then there's a few more steps uh, for us to do. If it doesn't open, you can always uh, select the icon here to open it up, but in this case, it just automatically opened. So uh, once you get this, this screen, you're going to hit next. Then you're going to uh, type in your first name, and then your email address, and then the phone number. The rest of it, um, you don't have to type in since the link that we sent you is a custom link that will automatically put that in for you. Then you'll just hit next. It's gonna uh, register the account with Xerox. Once you get to this screen, you're going to hit uh, only Xerox printers. Unless you want it to report all the network printers, that's up to you. But in this case, we just need the Xerox printers to report. So we're going to hit next. Then it's going to search on the network and find all the uh, Xerox printers on the account. If it doesn't find any printers, uh, let us know and we can help uh, get those manually added for you. Um, in this case, um, it will automatically pick them up. And once it's uh, to 100%, uh, we'll move on to the next step. Now that it's finished, we're going to hit next. It's going to uh, send the information that it just picked up off the printer. Please note, um, so if you're not familiar with the uh, Xerox device agent, its purpose is to report the meters and supply levels to Xerox so your supplies can auto-replenish and uh, meter reads per report so uh, you don't have to uh, deal with uh, reporting that manually. Now that it's finished, um, you can hit finish here and then uh, hit accept. Now there's two settings I would recommend changing. Um, first, I would go to the synchronize icon, hit change settings, and then tell it to uh, report um, every six hours. I recommend this because uh, the more it reports, the more accurate the auto supply replenishment will be. After that, I would go to settings, local alerts, and then turn those off. So hit change settings and then no pop-ups and hit OK. If you want the local alerts, it's just little pop-ups on your desktop. You can leave those on. It'll tell you, you know, whatever you want. If it's low, if there's a problem with the printer, feel free to leave those on. However, most uh, don't want to deal with that on their desktop itself. So there you have it. The Xerox device agent is installed and uh, you can see the printer is added here.